She's a magician in the kitchen. Aunt Liz TV. Watch them Mondays and Thursdays. Aunt Liz TV. Cooking yummy foods and tasty treats. Aunt Liz TV. Give up orders and taste the buns leaf. Aunt Liz TV. It's time to eat. Aunt Liz TV. Aunt Liz TV. Aunt Liz TV. Hey everybody, it's Yummy Monday again. This week we're back at the kitchen, but we're doing a craft. I've been feeling really crafty lately. So today's craft is really easy and it can be used for a lot of different purposes. So we have just a couple of supplies. The first thing and the main thing that you need is what's called a shadow box. And I just got this at a craft store. And basically it's just a picture frame, but it's kind of thick. And I'll turn it around so you can see the inside. You can see that there's a kind of a little tray in here. Um, and it's about, let's see, about that thick. So what that means is you can put something that's thicker inside this frame. So there's a craft I've been wanting to do for quite a while. And I have some pieces of silverware from my grandma's. And what I wanted to do is display those in the kitchen. So I thought, what a neat way to display them in a shadow box. So I've got one already started. Now watch, I'm going to pick this up. This is the board that comes with the shadow box and it doesn't fall off. We're using a hot glue gun to make that happen. So I've already started. Um, as you can see, I've got my knife on, so I'm going to go ahead and do the fork and the spoon next. Now it's really easy. Um, you probably wouldn't want to do silverware, but what you could do a shadow box for is if you have ribbons from a sports team or a bunch of pictures and fun things from a trip or a special activity that you did. Um, that would be a great idea. Or you could even do like butterflies if you found a bunch of neat butterflies in your backyard. Um, you could have kind of a collection of colorful butterflies. That would be beautiful too. So, first thing we're going to do is take our hot glue gun that's been preheated. Now, you might need your adult assistant to help you with this part. You can go ahead and arrange it the way you want. So, let's say you're doing um, some ribbons and memorabilia from your summer swim team. What you would do is go ahead and lay that out exactly how you want because then when it's time to glue, it's just a matter of picking up one item and gluing it right in place. Then you don't have to take everything off and start over and think, hmm, how did I have that? So I've got this arranged how I want, so what I'm going to do is um, take my fork and turn it on the side. And I'm doing that so that I can see exactly where I need to put a few glue dots. So I know I need to put some glue right here, and I need to put some down here. And what that's going to do is then when I turn my fork back over, it's going to stick right in place. Now what you do is kind of push down a little bit. Now even though the glue is hot, when you're pushing down on this, it's not hot. It's not going to burn your fingers. You want to hold it for just a couple of seconds. Let it get nice and hard. And while that's drying, we're going to go ahead and do our spoon. So I think about right there is a good, a good location for our spoon. So the same thing, I'm going to just tip it to the side and put just a few glue dots there. And I'll put one down here. Now you might notice that there are some little strings from the glue. Those, Once those are dry, we can peel those right off. Whoops, that one got away from me. Go ahead and stick our spoon down. Now this frame that I bought at the craft store just came with this kind of black velvety frame or uh, background. If you don't like that, you can take a piece of fabric and wrap it on the edge or if you have a piece of colorful scrapbook paper that you like, you could put that on here too. And what I would do if we're going to use paper is probably staple it to the edge because this is kind of a foam background. Um, so staples would work really well on that. So I'm going to let this sit for just a couple of minutes before I'm going to put it in my frame and we'll be right back and you'll see the finished product. Okay, so you can see that my frame is finished, my shadow box is finished, and my display is ready to go up on the wall. So um, I hope you have fun making a shadow box of your own. It's a really creative way to display some special things um, and collections. So I will see you again on Tasty Thursday where we're going to be back in the kitchen and this time we'll be cooking.